Hey guys, what is up? Welcome, welcome back. My name is Tess. Today's video is going to be a three looks one palette using the Hella palette by Odin's Eye and Angelica Nyquist. Really excited to play with this palette. Thank you Odin's Eye for sending this palette over for me to try out and play with. This will be the first time I ever try Odin's Eye's eyeshadow formula. I'm really excited. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, I think I am going to deepen my outer V with the shade. I really don't know how to pronounce this. <laughs> like the forest green shade. I'm using Ariel A25. Just deepen the outer portion and kind of slightly like bring it over ever so slightly. Bring it over through the crease and a little bit. into rebirth this like pastel yellow shade to kind of soften the edges a little bit same brush to just kind of like buff out the edges a little bit i am switching to like a flat shader this is the BH Cosmetics Pull Side number 10. I'm using the same shade. I just wanted to give this wing a little more like define. Okay, that's cleaned up a little bit of the lid space. I'm using Laura Lee Los Angeles number 27 brush. I just need a little carve out a little space for what I'm going to put down. Okay, now like that's pack on the pink. I'm going to the shade Hella. I would never think that Hella would be a pink. That's kind of interesting. I'm gonna put Hella like two thirds of the portion of the eye. So for the inner part of this inner corner, I'm going into the shape rebirth, kind of pack it on the inner portion of the eye to kind of brighten things up. I'm going to bring a little bit of the rebirth, kind of on the arch, the brow bone. And I think I'm going to highlight it with the shade right here called Double Sided. Um, dual chrome shade. I'm going to pop it on the brow bone. Okay, I'm just going back to um, the deepest green shade. I'm going to kind of finesse the wing a little more. I, this is the finish look. Number one, I kind of finished the full face because I really, really like how this look turned out. I had to film it for my reels as well. And yeah, this is the finish first look. I really like the pastel type of a moment and this is giving me very like 80s kind of a vibe. Definitely, I'm obsessed with how this look turned out. And for the blush today, I pair it with the Poppy Cosmetics. This is in the shade Pretty in Pink. This really pretty like bubblegum baby pink. That's what I'm wearing on the cheeks. And for the lips today, I am using Pat McGrath Liquid Loss in the shade New Cabaret. And this is the finished first look. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments if you guys like this look. Let's move on to the second. So I think maybe we can create a green look. I'm gonna go into the shade Re uh, Rebirth. I'm kind of just going to pull that out over as like a transition. I'm just using a BH Marble Luxe number 7. 
Now I'm gonna dip into the shade Wolf. This shade is probably the most neutral. A little bit of that yellowy brown. I'm going to put it a little lower and on the outer V as well. Same brush. World Bro did this green shade. I'm using a Ariel A20 brush. Let's do the green at the outer V. Okay, I'm gonna do a halo then. J Wolf, and I'm going to buff out the edges ever so slightly. I'm back to the BH number seven brush. So I'm just going back to the deep green and kind of just like deepen things up again. Fluorescent is really lime green. I'm just gonna put that on the center. Wow, that is really bright. Okay, I'm doing the deep green on the lower lash line first. I switch to a BH poolside number 10 brush, like a flat type of a brush. I'm just going to pack it on, on the outer V. Okay, and then I'm gonna mix a little bit of scoots. And I'm back to the green. The residue of this brush, and I'm putting a little color, put it around here and just to, you know, deepen the definition a little bit. Now you can definitely like keep this look just very green, but I do really want to incorporate the pink here. I'm going to go to the shade Goddess. This is a really like bright fuchsia kind of a pink and I am putting it right on the inner portion. And I want to go into the shade Hella. Do kind of buff the color down. And I also do want to put a little bit of the Hella on the kind of inner portion here, like an inner corner. All right, so now I just wanted to kind of brighten the inner corner and the brow bone. I'm going into double-sided. And kind of bring it like along this inner corner. And I'm gonna bring that color on the brow bone. Going back to the shade Rebirth, it's like pale yellow and kind of like buff, buff out the edges. Pop up some lash. I'm going to the inner rim with the ColourPop Prim Gel Liner in the shade Amethyst Hour. Okay guys, this is the finished look number two. Really do like how this turned out. I love the pink and green contrast. And yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments if you guys are loving this look. And let's move on to the one I just like dig in to the shade that I really wanna try. This is the shade River. And I'm going to just use my finger to kind of pack it on.
Wow, this shade is prettier than I thought it would be. Very glittery and shiny. I'm just gonna pack some more on. Okay, I'm kind of just want to lightly build on the um, depth. So I'm going to the shade Decay. A little like a murky type of a brown. I kind of just want to like kind of smoke it out here. And I'm going to the shade Scoot. Same brush. I'm using Ariel A29. I am continuing to kind of like just kind of like flick it up and sort of creating like a wing. And I want to also like deepen the outer V as well. I'm going to the shade Hella. I kind of want to use the shade to add a little bit of the shading in the front. I'm taking like a flat shading brush. I'm going back to Scoot. Okay, I'm taking the shade, just adding a little bit of the shading here, just to balance the shape of my eye. Alright, I'm taking the same shape from Scoot. I'm taking that on the outer lower line. I kind of want to take a little bit of this color, this like deep black shimmer. And I'm taking that on the outer V. Okay, I'm leaving this little space here because I really wanted to see like what it will look like. So I'm going to the shade Venom. This really like a grass green. And just popping that in here. Maybe I should just, you know, take it along the side too. Just for fun. Okay, for the rest of this look, I just really want to kind of pack this on a little more. I'm going to take the NYX Glitter Primer. I'm taking a little bit of that to kind of pack it on this part. Because I really want it to really shine and pop through. This is such a stunning shade. Like... Wow, look at that intensity, it's crazy. The shine is so, so stunning. I'm taking a little bit of double-sided to just, you know, press it on inner portion of my kind of a inner portion area, just because I really want this look to be very sparkly. Highlight the brow one right here. Hey guys, here is the finished final look. Really, really love how this look turned out. Um, if you just look at a single eye, you probably can't really visual the whole full face. I'm gonna list everything that I use on my face down in the description as well. Let's chat about this palette really quickly. I look at this palette, I already thought about uh, the palette made by Mitchell. I'm gonna swatch some of the similar shades side by side so you guys have an idea. Um, I definitely feel like there's definitely similarities between these two palettes so I didn't feel like I absolutely need the Hella palette. I'm actually a little surprised that I actually include this palette to send it to me because it's out of stock and I'm super duper grateful. So after using palette, I really really do fall in love with the shade River and double-sided. 
um, quite a lot of fallout though. I do feel like um, if every metallic shade has the intensity of this shade revert, I will be like all over this palette. I do feel like the metallic is a little slightly a little dry. But they're still really pretty, you know. Overall, I really enjoy their formula. Of all the looks that I created, there are actually like two, three looks that I didn't love that didn't make it to this video. So yeah, I did struggle. So for me, I love the quality. I'm not 100% in love with the color story. Uh, there's some powderiness with the shade Rebirth. And that's the only pretty powdery shade that I experienced. River and Complete has quite a bit of a fallout so just be careful they have a lot of like sparkling particles to it that's pretty much my thoughts on the palette if you are into greens you will definitely enjoy this palette and i think they will be restocking the palette on march 22nd do comment down below let me know if you guys love the color story if you guys like the looks that i created today Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, I would really, really love for you to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later.